Okay, this is Prince DJ. I'm over here at Denver Airport, back to start my exile to to uh, Galveston Airport, Airport uh, Galveston, uh, Texas. I've never been in the airport. I've been traveling off and on for years. I've gone to conferences, podcast movement, podcasts. I've gone to cruises. I've gone to Vegas. I've never been in an airport that is so flyless. But there, there's flies all, all over the place. And I'm at the gate for my flight to Houston. Round trip to, well, not round trip. But now I stop to Houston. And there's nothing but flies over here. And another thing. It happened again. It happened again. Wheelchair shortages. Well, wheelchair driver shortages, I should say. I had to wait. Not only, okay, first of all, when I got to the... Sh- shut up! When I got to the airport, first of all, there was no sky cap, or the sky cap was somewhere, somewhere further down the end of the building. I had a, I had a big bag. Then I had to help me get the wheelchair. I'm in the middle of recording. I had to get wait to get the wheelchair. Then they left me in the wheelchair area for another driver to take me to the ticketing counter so I could get my paper ticket, and then send me back to the wheelchair counter to get me to the gate to have to take the subway. You know, this airport have uh, have a subway. Three. Terminal area, terminal A, terminal B, terminal C, and I'm at the last terminal and the gate 64. Okay, so not only uh, I told me to the wheelchair, and then just got me to a one of those electric cars. Yeah, one of those electric cars, and then oh my God, I, I mean, I know Denver, Denver Airport is a huge airport, but Republican. If you want people to work, you want able-bodied people to work, tell them to work at the airport first. They need more wheelchair drivers. Tell them to work at the airport across the country. It is terrible, and I don't even travel all that time. I don't. Like I said, I go to podcast, podcast movement. I go to PodFest. Maybe I go to Vegas if I'm able, and then maybe I go to Carnival Cruise. I don't travel like the rich, but I want to travel just to get get out before I go insane. And this process usually makes me go insane. It made me go like, you know, it's like I tell people that I got a podcast and all like that. I told them just now that I'm going to preach about it to our blue in the face that if the Republicans want people to work, they're, they're, the airport is hiring. I don't know where they hire people for the air, uh, the wheelchair uh, drivers. I know Huntley, I used to do wheelchair drivers when I was somewhat able. But then all the money went back to the transportation. But I was somewhat able. I used to work at Newark Airport. That's where I met The Undertaker when he was the American Badass. Yeah, I met that cat. I met the character when he was the American bad- Badass Undertaker. It was all what I was working. So, I mean, and then you mean to tell me, I don't know, when it got to, to be so bad, I don't know if it happened pre-COVID, post-COVID, uh, mid-COVID. I didn't, know when, I didn't know when the hell did it start to happen. I don't even know when the hell it started. But the fact of the matter is, you got people who are on flights who checked in the day before their flights, okay? Well, except for the one day I had to come to, to, uh, to the airport itself. Because the uh, first airport was canceled, and I, I don't want to have to wait three hours uh, to just get my uh, username and password fixed for my damn app. But, Republicans, if you really want people to work, don't just go for the higher sectors, the higher job sectors like math, science, and all that stuff. You People need wheelchair drivers. The disabled people go somewhere, too. They go somewhere, too. We go somewhere, too. Whether it's to family, whether it's to see friends, whether it's to see the rest of the country, whatever, whatever. We go places, too. I mean, we're not, we, don't, we don't deserve to, to be treated like this whenever we go to the airport. We don't deserve it. We pay money to fly just like everybody else. And then just to get, the, and sometimes we had to get here early at a gun ungodly hour early in the morning, okay, trying to get a flight. And then you just be sitting there waiting on the airport. And then last week, last Sunday, 
On the way here, I had to travel in the middle of a heat advisory back in Texas. In the middle of a heat advisory in Texas. Okay? I got sick on the damn crowded plane. I got sick. I had heat of stars then, and then I would have got worse heat stroke. But I got here to Denver. The wheelchair driver got me to for off the jet bridge. Okay? Then I had to wait for another driver to take me to baggage claim, I said in the words of Stone Cold Steve Austin, eh, eh, I was sick. I was about to pass out, and so I walked my big head to baggage claim, even though I took a, uh, took a chance at the biggest airport in Colorado, okay? In the biggest airport in Colorado, one of the famous airports in Colorado, I fell asleep a couple of times, Okay, so I was supposed to be at the hotel by 3 o'clock. I did not get to my hotel until after 6. After 6 because I got lost. I got lost. And I was in danger of passing out. All because I had to wait for a freaking air chair, uh, wheelchair driver. And I couldn't even take this anymore. I don't travel all the time. I'm not rich. I'm not Bill Gates. I'm not Donald Trump. I'm not like the rich paper. I don't have a private jet. I'm flying commercial, just like everybody else. I'm flying commercial. Okay? You don't do that to somebody who is partly blind or have a bad leg or whatever, whatever reason why they need a wheelchair or something. You don't do that, making people wait for a wheelchair like that. What if there was a rush connect, uh, connection? I saw, a, I, I watched a video called American Airlines Travel Nightmare where a husband and wife was waiting 16 hours for a flight, okay? And so what happened was his wife was in a wheelchair and, I mean, they had all these disaster issues, especially one of them was in a connection in Philadelphia. And then they had to do a five-minute run between connection gate that wind up missing another connection. I, come on! This is a this is a national do. Hey, get off of a fly! I'm doing a I'm doing a rant. I'm doing a rant on my podcast, the Big D Zone. This is supposed to be exile to Galveston. I'm already stressed out because I didn't know I was going to be at the street because I just been hours trying to get to the airport, then get to my gate, and. Thankfully, they're going to let me wait till the 29th at 1130 to get my money, and I'm going to hurry up and pay uh, pay the rent, you know, hurry up and do that. I mean, this is, this is absolutely thing, and I got to wait for, then I got to wait with fries. I have to wait with fries, bothering me in the middle of my stress. We just had two wrestlers death, high-profile wrestler death, Terry Funk, uh, uh, Brave Lion. In a few days when I just hanging out with wrestlers. Then on Monday is another sad day because I had to be with my late wife anniversary for eight years. I, I mean, it's so bad I had to show them uh, my, uh, my, uh, my wife's death certificate when I get into the building. I had to show them that, you know, so, so that I'm not joking around because I'm really stressed out right now. I'm really stressed out. I mean... There should be no need to this. Republican, you want people to work? Here's the place to people to work at the nation's airport. All of the nation's airport. That's where you can start people working at and let them drive wheelchairs. In fact, if they're able bodied, they'll keep get their exercise, especially like Atlanta. Atlanta is another world busiest airport. Uh, New York, like uh, Kennedy, LaGuardia, Newark, uh, 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 Chicago. Um, Orlando, definitely Orlando, and then definitely Las Vegas. Well, I forgot what the, what the hell his name now. First it was Henry Reed, now it's somebody else's name. I mean, <laughs> and now Denver, they need wheelchair time. And I'm going to preach this. This is going to be my mission. I'm going to preach needing to have wheelchair drivers, able-bodied wheelchair drivers, to the drive die disabled to to and from the flights because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is what I had to deal with every time I fly, and I was keep saying it to a blue in the face. I don't fly that often. I don't fly that often. 
I mean, it would be okay if I wasn't disabled and walk around, but I can't visit the peak airport. I probably would have missed my flight, even though I got here early. And two hours early, to be that, two hours early. I had to leave my pizza in the hotel room because I didn't want to carry, I carried enough stuff that it is. And then I'm glad, I guess now I'm glad I did let my pizza because what happened at the, at the uh, departure level was a sham. Because I would have never been able to carry my pizza box, even though you are allowed to bring food in. I had to make the conscious decision to leave my pizza at the hotel because they didn't have no bag for it. I asked at the front desk that they had me bag so I could put my pizza in it, and they didn't. They absolutely didn't. And the internet still went out like, like, like a dog. And I couldn't even do anything. Couldn't even do anything. I did Reading for round for a wheelchair driver should not exist. Should not exist. This should not exist. Because people who are disabled travel too. And not just the rich, not just the middle class, but people who are disabled and elderly do travel too. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that I got to keep going. The next time I travel is not until January. It probably, guess what? It probably going to be the same way when in Orlando. Or the next time I go to podcast movement, it's going to be in D.C. Unbelievable. This thing is unbelievable. I can't believe this. Hopefully I can use my points when I go to Orlando. All I have to pay is a small fee. And then I got to figure out a way to get back and forth to Orlando because I'm trying to stay at the same hotel. So I won't have to lose lift that much. This, is, this whole thing is a scam. This whole thing is a scam. You're making elderly people and disabled people or people who are injured wait to either get off a flight or, you know, go to a flight, go to a gate, especially the airport with a train? Really? Really? I can't go on. I, I can't go on. I mean, I, 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 I am stressed out. I mean, there's flights attacking me. I mean, I did. honestly. Absolutely, honestly, I can't even do a video because uh, YouTube want to take so dang on long to upload a freaking video. Unbelievable, and it better not be a full flight because I don't. Ha I'm not in the mood for a full flight. I'm not in the mood. I've already got sick on one full flight, but then again, but then again, then I gotta listen to me. Then I gotta listen to me. But anyway, hopefully the next time I get to see you is in Galveston. I'm at Denver International Airport, one of the biggest airports in Denver, trying to start the exodus pro uh, the uh, the exile process. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Goodbye.